this is my media PC, or at least it has been for about a week. Now, I've run into one problem with it, and today I'm planning to fix that. So, my plan today is to take this graphics card out, put it in a different machine, uh, put in this hard drive that I've got over there, put in this optical disk drive, um, then also put in some more RAM maybe, a Wi-Fi card, and upgrade it into the ultimate home media PC. Hopefully I can accomplish that, but uh, let's find out. Okay, let's try this out then. It's essentially Steam Deck OS, but I should be able to run emulation much better. I can finally take the GPU out of this computer, so let's go do that. Uh, it's really simple to do in these HP systems. You just pull back the lock, then... Boom. Done. Snap that back in. This is the target PC, so it's a very fancy PC. As you can see, it's one of these designs of HP computers. Um, it's the same sort of thing as the HP Compaq and that sort of series of stuff. It's got a Xeon CPU of some sort, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna be removing this optical drive and luckily this generation still uses full-size SATA. Uh, we're gonna be keeping that SSD, which is underneath this cool power supply. Um, and we're going to be removing this Quadro 600 because it's ancient and not meant for gaming. And also you can't use Nvidia cards with Chimera. So, let's get started. I also need to replace some RAM if that's possible, but I'll check. And now, let's install our brand new Blu-ray drive. Yay! indeed does open, so that's good. Now we can do discs. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next step in our upgrade process. We're going to be upgrading to an AMD R7 450, I think. This should be plenty good enough for what we're doing. Hopefully the drivers will work, but we'll find out. And this is our dusty, musty, crusty Quadro 600 from like 2010 or something. I'll look up details later, but uh, there we go. Now the graphics card is connected and it doesn't require any power connectors because it's amazing and pulls power from the source. And we have display out. I don't know if you, you can't see it, but we do have it. So that's good to know. So. Now, um, I've got the graphics card, the Blu-ray drive. Now I have to push in our brand new enterprise grade hard drive. Uh, that is going to go into here, hopefully. And it will probably just be flinging around because I don't have a better solution or idea for that. So yeah. So hopefully that's all of the upgrades. I have no more little things in my pile of goodies to install, so we are all good now. Let's uh, pop the top on and get going with the install. I'm gonna plug in my little Wi-Fi dongle. After wrestling with my Rufus software for quite a while, 
I finally managed to get it it's onto a USB drive. So let's put it onto this computer. My phone's on about 20% and is about to die, so I'm a bit scared. Let's see, will this work? Come on. All right, come on, you can do this and stuff. Come on, you can do this. Come on, I'm believing you. And it's not there for some reason. So we are going to have to do something about that. So bye-bye for now. Ah. Okay, so long story short, uh, there were some configuration options that I need to change in the BIOS. And now it works. And I, all I have to do is actually just boom. Now it's gonna install and hopefully it'll work. First try, without any problems. I'm back and I'm pretty sure the birds have all gone to sleep now, so thank goodness. Um, here we go, it's gonna reboot and hopefully it'll work. not very good, is it? Um, okay, so it's on, it's just where's the video? Oh, the monitor light turned on again. Okay, now it's in standby. Um, oh, I'm gonna try rebooting. Oh wait, no, we're in Chimera. Alright, as you can see, this is the GNOME desktop in Oh no, my foot to sleep. Oh no, it's frozen. So I'm gonna unplug the USB. Here it is, it's unplugged. We are in Chimera. Um, uh, yeah. Perfect. Um, isn't this amazing? So I can come into game mode, I think. Okay, so game work, game mode seems to be a bit glitched out. Will Steam at least load? So we're going to be moving all of those fancy parts like the Blu-ray drive and the hard drive into this computer and yeah, hopefully it'll run better. And I'll be putting a 960 in here, which should hopefully run better than the R7450 or whatever it was. So I'll uh, see you on the other side. <laughs> Basically, uh, it doesn't support UEFI, and the drive in there is UEFI. But I don't think Chimera OS supports legacy boot systems, so I might not even be able to install it anyway, which really sucks. So um, I'm going to go to bed, and I'll catch you up in the morning.
after much trial and error, I have managed to get something that I'm happy with. Set up on this computer, not any of the other computers I've tried. I've tried about four or five. This is the one I've chosen. Uh, it's got a 960 in it. Uh, it's a Z400, got 12 gigs of RAM. It's not very good, but it's good enough for what I'm gonna try and do. Um, as for the OS, Hollow ISO didn't work, and neither did Chimera OS, which was the original idea, but it's roughly been like, maybe, I've been working on this video for like 36 hours, I've gotta stop. So this is the conclusion I've reached. I've got Steam Big Picture Mode right here. Here's my PS5 controller, and it does work, but uh, yeah. What I have to do now is set up some other things, but um, it's just Manjaro um, with GNOME, obviously, as you can see. Uh, it's it's actually a really nice desktop environment. Well, not even just GNOME, but like the theming and everything. I love it. I really like it. Um, anyway, I've got Cody as well. Probably never going to use this except for the rare occasions when I need to play Blu-rays and stuff. But uh, yeah, I got this weird theme for it that doesn't look trash. I mean, it looks okay, but not trash. It doesn't look okay. Okay, whatever, I don't know. But yeah, it's basically just a regular system. Um, I've got RetroArch, Dolphin, and Use It, which I might use, but uh, I'm thinking of just installing Ragejinx later. If that's how you pronounce it, I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, there you go, that's the setup. It's basically identical to my Windows setup. to go edit it um thanks for watching uh if you like it then go check out the other content that i've got on my youtube page because if you've gone this far in the video and you obviously enjoyed it i've got a couple other videos about installing stuff so yeah go check that out thanks